Hello everyone, my name is Alshus and today I'm going to show you another way how to bypass Google account verification. And uh, first of all, the very first step is do not panic. <laughs> no, I'm really serious. Do not panic. There's always a way how to do something and do not panic. So, um, what you have to do, you will have to have a PC, Windows and then uh, your device with a cable and also one more device or application which is called real term and for this uh, you will have to download this application from directly from the website and you will have to go directly to for example google let's try and real term in this case i offer you to download real term version number two which is the most uh, reliable and um, so um, one of the way is to f uh, you can find on the source forge just create and proceed and then what we do we just download the application and okay let's go on further so you can see this Okay, and now it's downloaded. So anyway, I have this application. So what you will have to do, you will have to just, okay, just, just install that. There is no problem with that. Okay, and I will just install that once again. Just click next. Here you don't have to click anything. Just click next. Next. Simple way. The very, very simple way. Okay, let's just untick those things and uh, get back to Windows and and we check how to make everything work on the device. So just go in. What you will have to do, you will have to, you know, just type in the password. After you you enter the password or the Wi-Fi, if you just click next, and you get you get further you can just click next next so uh, after brief information you will see uh, that just now click that the device was reset to continue signing with the Google account was previously since with this device so in this case if you don't know the account information or you forgot forget something we see it once again so we just open that uh, well you can see there is many many features but you will all you will the only thing that you will have is to head to port because here you will be able to see which port your device is connected so uh, okay let's head into our mobile so what you have to do next, you have to plug into the PC. Okay. Okay, now it's plugged in. And the next step is to find out which port the device is connected. So you have to get go into Windows and then click on the My Computer or this PC. Okay. And you get further to device manager. Then you're looking for the modems. And you can see Samsung Mobile USB modem. So you just click modem. And then you will be see port. And which is in my case is COM3. So the main important number, uh, the, the, the thing is the number which is number three in my case, which could be different in your PC because it's, uh, it's, it, it relies on the which USB cable you will put in. So, okay, so uh, as, since we know the cable, so we just can close that. And, um, okay, I prefer to, to open it again because I, because it could show different port now. 
Yes, as you can see, it automatically found the new port, which is number three. And then we have to click on the send. And then here on the first, uh, first possible um, field, we will have to use two commands. So first of the command one is, um, I just save that, but I think it's, I just copied it. So just click again. And there in this first field, the upper side, you just have to click for the, okay, let me see. Okay, it will be the first command. Now, this is the first command, which you will see in my description in the video, so you will be able to just copy that. So, what do we have to do next? We have to send ASCII, this, this one. Okay, and you see some changes on the black uh, part of this program. And since you can see that, so that's a good thing. But nothing happens, just in case, and nothing happens on the phone yet. And what you do next, you just put this, this kind of command. Well, the first three letters and then goes the numbers. And the numbers, this is just random numbers. You can put any number or you can also put any valid phone number. So. Then we just enter that, or uh, no, uh, we just send. Okay, and you can see the changes, which shows that you it's calling. So what do you have to do? You will have to click on the web. So let's click on the web. Okay, so since it's clicked, and uh, we just accept and continue this application. So you will have to get into Galaxy applications. Then you will have to click on search and then you will have to download S file manager or explorer. So you just click download. What next? You will have to put in your Samsung account information. So you just sign in and here I will just put all my information. Now you will have to just accept and download this application and what you do next, you just wait. Okay, once this which is called a quick shortcut maker. So let's just try to type in quick shortcut maker AP key or just maker. Okay, just and okay, okay, we just download from the website any web reliable website which is which shouldn't have any virus. Okay, and we see that application which is download this, okay. And we open that. Okay, next part you you see that it's notification with install blocked. So with this you will have to avoid that by click settings and then you just click unknown sources. Okay. And you will be able to install this application. So just head in. Install. And application is installed, you just have to open it. Okay. So we have to open the application that we downloaded, which is called Comsica. And here we cancel. And then we do, for security issues, we have to able to, we have to tick on our sources to be able to install this kind of application, which requires some additional security and once the application is installed and then 
you will have to input keyword to filter so in this case we just have to input the Google account well in this part we just click Google account manager and then we are searching for the the file which is called Google there will be a two very similar files one of them is Google account manager add a login and we will and also Google account manager login activity so we'll have to head into login okay so you will have to click on here try and then just click browse sign in click OK okay now so when you will be able to get in and you will have to enter your new credentials and so I will enter my Google account which I know okay after you enter all the credentials you you will have the only option to do just just restore so just not don't do anything just restore the device okay and after a few minutes you will be able to see that this device is doesn't locked anymore and it's not locked anymore so you will be able to use that without any problem so let's take a very fast look Okay, now we just head in. Well, it's already this information is inside the device. Okay, checking connection. checking software update and you can see clearly that the account has been added your first account is ready for use you can add and remove accounts later in settings so this is how you bypass google account on samsung galaxy phones and in this case this is samsung a3 so you just click next and just next skip skip and this is how we get into restoring information okay now just head in okay okay just later next and finish And you can see that we already have a new <laughs> this is nice really nice it's just finished so this is how you bypass Google account so thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't don't forget to subscribe and like the video yeah take care